In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 22 that will help you be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage meta, be able to work over pretty much any zone coverage in the game, and be able to have great pass protection so that you can withstand any pressure that your opponent might send. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now guys, the route and the concept that we're going to be taking a look at today is we're going to be taking a look at the PA slot corner in the New England or the Detroit playbook. It's in both of the trips tight ends in those playbooks. And this is one of my favorite concepts, like I said, for when my opponent is running a significant amount of man coverage and it's up to me to be able to beat it. Now, if you have not picked up my uh, Patreon membership yet? I just want to highlight that real quickly. Um, basically, that's where my full ebook for Trips Tied In is. It's also where I post all of my Madden ebooks. And so, for just ten dollars a month, you're going to be able to get access to all twenty of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. Any updates that I release to those ebooks, as well as any future ebooks and any future updates that we release while your membership is active. So, for just ten dollars a month. You'll be able to unlock a ton of content and pretty much update the membership every single week with new material and new little updates and twists and tweaks that we can make to our ebooks to make them more effective. So if you want to check out the membership, there's a link in the description below and you can sign up for just 10 bucks a month. And of course you can cancel whenever you'd like to. Okay guys, let's take a look at this PA slot corner play. It's real simple. We're going to kind of build the concept around this route to the triangle receiver. And so a lot of times, if they're gonna run me in coverage, they're gonna run something like this, probably with two purple zones. So you see here, um, you might get a look that looks you know, basically like this right here. And how are we gonna beat this with our passing? Well, what we're gonna do with this is we're going to smart route the outside slot receiver. You're gonna see that that's gonna allow him to go a little bit deeper. We're then going to uh, take the outside uh, receiver and we can do a couple different things with him. Um, if you want to put him on a skinny post, you certainly can do that. What I like to do with him though, is I'll typically be putting him on um, just a simple smoke screen and that's gonna help just kind of pull the zones out. And then my next hot route is I'm gonna take Chris Godwin and I'm gonna put him on a slant. And then with the tight end, you have a couple of different options. If you have the tight end apprentice, I really like the tight end apprentice corner or the hot route master corner to beat main coverage. If you don't have that, then just put him on a quick little five yard out route. If you're worried that it might be zone, go ahead and put him on a streak. Um, but those are a couple different options um, of how you can use him. And you're just going to motion the slant over. And what's really good about this play is really this post. And this post to Mike Evans is just really lethal against man to man. It's really one of my favorite man beaters in the entire game. Now, I'm gonna show you kind of an alternate setup and I like this one in particular. Um, if I get a look that looks somewhat like this right here, maybe like a man blitz look, or, you know, even if they bail out of this, and I'll show you what the, what the play looks like. So what we could do if we get something like this is this is little whip route to Chris Godwin. We're then going to put Scotty Miller on the slant this time, and then we're going to have Gronkowski on a corner. And what you'll see with this is if they don't press us, we're going to be able to hit this little zig against pretty much every coverage in the game for you know an easy five to ten yards. What this also is going to do is it's going to open up the middle of the field, which is where we want to attack anyway. So let's say we get another look like that, the zig, we've got the uh, corner, and the corner and the zig basically are designed to pull the zones out of the way. And then you're going to be able to then work the middle of the field. You see how good that slant is against man to man. Another reason why I really like that slant, uh, that slant concept, is because a lot of people um, will play their zone, you know, zone drop kind of style. And you know, depending on who you're playing, that they could put their zone drops at all different depths. And so what this does is it kind of puts them in a position like if they were to do something like that you see how open that gets it's really going to run that slant is typically going to run about 15 to 20 yards down the field and so let's say they put their curl flats on 10 or they put their their curl flats on five anything under 15 yards 
is going to be in a position where that is going to oftentimes get it and then of course because it's a motion slant and you have a zig underneath it the zig will suck down the purple and you see how open it is to hit that right there now again uh, scotty miller doesn't have the kind of route running that you would probably see um, in madden ultimate team but this is a great way to beat the two purples because you're not the purples aren't going to play e either side either side of the equation um, and then I'm going to show you something you can do if you're convinced that or if you want to send five out here in just a second But take a look on this other side You see the purples don't play that either and you see how open that gets now Let's say that you want to send five out and this is something that I've actually been doing a lot even against the blitz um, What you can do is if you if you expect or anticipate they might send pressure Basically if they blitz their linebacker on the outside oftentimes the flats are going to be wide open especially if they're in man to man so your zig or your running back route will basically be wide open so i'm just gonna put the running back on out and what you're gonna see here is they blitz oh look the running back's wide open and i can just beat the blitz that way so it's a real simple way that i can attack the flats now let's say that we're playing someone and they're running a little bit of a zone pressure so it looks kind of like this with the two hard flats now the whole middle of the field is going to be open so you'll see here um, let me put that on slant, but you'll see here, you know, stuff like that. It's wide open because they don't have, they don't have the, the ability to cover everything. And so if they take away the two quick flats and they're in their sending pressure, you pretty much can guarantee that everything else on the play is going to be pretty much wide open. So boom, you see here, I mean, you can even just throw the zig and trust it for a good five to 10 yards against pressure and so then you might be saying well cody what if they run you know something like a double flat where they go two curl flats and they go two two cloud flats and they, they drop a coverage that they, they drop everybody into coverage now this coverage in particularly is probably the best coverage they can do against this play but the thing i will say about it is the whole middle of the field is open right so you have this slant that's going to beat zone drops and that's why uh, I love that motion slant in particularly. Let me show you one other thing real quick with that motion slant. So I'm gonna run just a basic, um, just a basic cover three. And again, um, what you should be able to see on this is this motion slant, if you wait on it to cross, look at how deep it goes down the field. Like it goes 20, probably 20 yards down the field. Now I have bat pass lead there, but it goes 20 yards down the field. Like I think that's huge for this offense because no one's going to be dropping their curl flats to 20. Like, they're either going to be dropping them to 35 or 30, 25, you know, or the other. So, obviously, if they have a yellow zone and you get you get shattered like I just did, that could be problematic. But, you know, by and large, like, if they're just going to run purples, you, if you if you can learn how to throw that slant um, against, against that, this is a really, really good play. Now, I'm going to show you something else against zone here in just a second if it is on obviously you can kind of fit that in the middle of the field if that's open too but let's say that they you know you, you kind of call this play and 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 you want to be a little bit better against zone all you have to do is streak the tight end and now the running back's got a lot more room to work underneath if it is man sort of the whip route but now your your uh your route to your corner route uh has so much room to work on the sideline and you're going to see this going to go about 25 yards so they're going to have to double Mabel to even have a chance to stop this. But again, the, the, the big issue, the big issue with this is if you double Mabel, now the whole middle of the field is open. So they're in a situation that they basically can't win. If they zone drop, if they, if they zone drop, then they're in trouble because you know, the, the routes in general are just going to beat it because the, you can't, you, you would basically have to have a 30 yard, um, zone and you would have to have a like 20 or 15 and then of course your two flats would be wide open but flat i could probably have taken those but you see how good that slant is against the double maple and that's that's one of my favorite routes so anyways this play is just something simple i actually really like this play also down like a, any short yardage situation this is a really really good concept if you want to hedge your bet a little bit against the pressure you can go ahead and leave that play action and then like i said just utilize this corner route as basically an out route the tight end apprentice corner route is so much sharper than the pa slot corner but what you'll notice is if you test it again you see that it gets about 15 to 20 yards down the field and they basically have to play 
um, they basically have to play cover two. The problem, like I said, is if they play cover two, and I'll show you the cover two real quick because we haven't shown it yet. But if they play cover two, now you're again in that situation where you've got your little zig, um, and then you can see here that that route can come over the middle and have a pretty decent chance. Um, obviously, like I said, you know, again, the underneath stuff is wide open. So take advantage of this. this. This is a simple concept, guys. It really is. But it's really powerful, especially if you're willing to be patient with this and just take what the defense gives you. If they're giving you the four to five yards, take it. And then they're going to eventually have to come down. And when they have to come down, they're going to be vulnerable to, you know, your little post to the to, uh, to triangle. And I, I can't tell you how much... Um, success I've had with this play from just a, just a spacing perspective and it's just really hard to hard to cover everything on this field so thanks for watching the video guys if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook um, it's in my patreon what's cool about the membership like I said if you join is you're not only going to get access to my trips tied in ebook you're going to go ahead and get access to all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to that you're going to get all of the updates every week in our membership we drop little updates uh, update videos to kind of help you understand like what the what the little twists what the little tweaks are that we need to make each week and then also guys it's a great place for you to get your questions answered and you get access to any and all of my ebooks that will be coming out in the future so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed it make sure to check out the patreon there's a link in the description below you can go click that link and go check out the membership